Hi there. In this video, we'll show you a quick demo of Teleport 6 Community Edition. Teleport provides a unified access plane that consolidates access controls and auditing across all environments, infrastructure, applications, and data. We'll be using Teleport to access servers, applications, databases, and Kubernetes clusters. Let's download and install Teleport. Teleport is an open source project. You can find it on GitHub or you can download the pre-built binaries from our downloads page. The easiest way to get started is to download from our YAM repo. Let's grab that URL. Let's take a look inside. Inside, you'll find just three binaries. Teleport is a Linux daemon similar to SSHD. It needs to be running on the servers you need to have access. TSH is the client that runs on the developer's machines. You could even rename it to SSH for convenience and tcuddle, it's our Teleport administrative tool. Let's see what it's like to use Teleport. Right now, I'm on a clean local command line environment. First, I have to log in using the address of my Teleport proxy. In this video, Teleport is configured with GitHub authentication. A browser window pops up and asks me to log into my GitHub account. I've already authenticated with GitHub, so I'm logged straight into Teleport. All the certificates for access are now stored in my command line environment. Short-lived certificates and kubeconfigs have now been populated. I can now access servers, databases, or Kubernetes clusters. Here's me getting access into a staging box, typing some random commands, and pretending to be something very important. Let's launch something fun, like HTOP. I can do this again without having to go through GitHub. For better security, my SSH certificates will expire in a few hours, and I'll have to authenticate again. In addition to basic access, Teleport has neat features for letting you see what environments your organization has. These are called clusters. In my case, I only have one cluster, and it's my staging environment. And for each cluster, Teleport lets you list all servers that are online and which ones you have access to. The certificate issued by Teleport will expire automatically, but I can also log out at any time. As you can see, the experience of using Teleport is very similar to how we traditionally use SSH. There are simple access flows for Kubernetes and databases. Let's look at Kubernetes. First, I'll have to view all connected clusters. Once I'm logged in, I can use kubectl flow without ever having to leave my familiar CLI flow. Next up, I need to access a staging database. With Teleport 6, I can access Postgres and MySQL databases. Here I am retrieving the credentials and logging into an AWS Aurora database. Now, let's take a look at the web UI. To access the web UI, you just use the address of the Teleport proxy. I have to go through GitHub again, but it's easy because I'm already authenticated. In this environment, I have a couple of servers, which I can access via a browser. You get a fully featured web-based console here, including the ability for uploading and downloading files. Let me type something again to pretend I'm working. You can also see currently active users. Let me go back to my terminal and connect to one of the servers. Now when I go back to the web UI, you can see that someone, in my case me, is accessing one of the machines in real time. We can even see what they're doing. Everything that happens inside a cluster is always recorded for auditing purposes. Let me show you the details that we capture in the audit log. Here we have a list of events. As you can see, everything is recorded, even the window resize events and data transfer. See, that's my past command line session, which I can now replay, and you can see what I've done. The recordings are not videos. They are stored as raw input and output dumps, and are trivial to analyze with third-party software. That was a quick demo of Teleport. Download it from goteleport.com and take it for a spin. Thank you.